I'm going to show you how clutches on chainsaws and weed whackers work. They're basically the same thing. So how a chainsaw clutch works and like a weed whacker clutch, um, they have a clutch drum just like this that spins freely due to a bearing that hits the crankshaft and this little sprocket in there catches your chain to spin it. So these counterweights here, they spread, they spread apart and hit the clutch drum and catch the clutch drum which makes it spin. So if it's idling, this spring right here will keep it inside so that your chain doesn't spin. But as soon as you hit throttle a certain amount, it'll expand and catch it. So think about riding a uh, merry-go-round. When a little kid spins, yeah, you don't feel it feel moving out from the center. But as soon as some big guy tries to spin, yeah, then yeah, you, you back out more. See these weed eaters, since they're such a cheap brand, they don't have clutches. Like this Ryobi weed whacker, it has a clutch inside of it because it's a higher quality. Just like this steel weed whacker, it has a clutch right here. Same with this home light, it has a clutch right in there. Basically works the same way, but there isn't horizontal like a chain moves. Theirs is vertical, their clutches.